to? The Israelis have always been thre threatening since day one from when we wanted to launch a flotilla. Um, every attempt where there's been to end the siege, they've always been quite aggressive. Um, but I've got to be honest, um, I didn't even expect Israel to be to describe international law so frequently. Israel went to international water, they boarded a civilian ship and gunned down, killed an innocent 16, to, uh, 16 or 20 people. The international community is demanding action. The Arab League is urging members to cut ties with Israel. And as demonstrations in Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey and Israel itself gain momentum, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has cut short a trip to North America to return home. Israeli police are on high alert around the country for fear the protests could get out of hand. The flotilla's passengers came from all around the world. Among them were parliamentarians, journalists, a Holocaust survivor and a Nobel Peace Laureate. They had with them 10,000 tons of supplies to help alleviate the humanitarian situation in Gaza. But Israel maintains there is no humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak says the area is ruled by a terrorist organization, Hamas, and therefore Israel has the right to examine all cargo entering the Strip. The confrontation took place some 100 kilometers off the coast of Gaza in international waters. It's now up to the international community to have the final word and pass judgment. Paul Islia, RT, Ashdod, Israel. Russia has handed over flight data to Poland from the aircraft that crashed near Smolensk last month, killing